Hello and welcome to another modelling video. The other day I bought a scale model toy. Now this is a kit that's already finished and painted. It's a 1 to 70 second Mitsubishi Zero from World War II. And from closer inspection to it, the finish was extremely reasonable and it had fantastic engraved panel lines. So I thought I could actually take it a little further with whatever modelling skills I already had and gave it a bit of a wash and top coat. This produced a finish that actually almost looked like a model. So I'm going to take you through to if you do buy a toy or a figure or whatever and if you think you can push it further. This is the Easy Model Winged Ace kit. And the aircraft is the 203rd Naval Air Squadron Oma Air Base Nagasaki. It claims to be correct colour and markings. I'm going to be using Citadel Acrylic Black Ink and Pledge One Go, a clear top coat. Just like my panel lining and inking tutorial just have to cover the surface with the ink due to the surface being unusual because it's not a functional or general model paint you may have to lubricate it a bit for water and whisk the surface away with a tissue to get as a neat effect as possible I uh, did this process a couple of times on the top and only once on the other side for the white area the panel lines are very well placed and uh, quite deep to an appropriate level so the ink flowed in very well and when whisking the excess ink away I didn't actually remove any of the panel ink so the finished result from it was desirable. Using the pre-thinned clear paint I laid several coats onto this zero since most of the reference photos I've seen them to be extremely glossy since they're flown over the ocean quite a bit and uh, just wanted a showroom model. I was extremely pleased with the finished result. It was very minimal amounts of work. Got it all done in one day in between working on other kits. Uh, highly recommended if you ever buy any of those uh, robot toys or any sort of um, figure and you feel that you can actually tackle some inking and some top coating it really makes a difference and it just changes the appearance so much so give it a go thank you for watching and until next time Hello and welcome to the second part of the toy special. A most common occurrence with figures is they don't balance too well on their bases when in an awkward position or one foot is in the air. I'll show you how to pin the figure better to the base. What you'll need is some super glue, uh, pin vise and drill bits and a bit of brass or copper rod. At the moment we're drilling the hole in the figure's leg. Try to extend the whole length about two to three times but at the same time be careful of the ankle not to drill right through the figure as this is near impossible to repair. Remove the male peg on the base by cutting it with a saw or a dremel and drill out a cavity or a hole of the same dimension as the foot where we'll be able to sandwich our brass or copper rod in between. Last, measure and cut your copper piece to the length, depth of the hole in the foot and the base and glue it into position carefully not to make a mess. Last, after drying mount your figure onto the base and admire your workmanship. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and until next time. 